Hey y'all, I am going to show you how to get our gigantic digital library called Sora onto your phone or your tablet at home. And you can use your staff account from Leander ISD to get access to like thousands of um, audiobooks and also print books that you can just kind of scroll, scroll through um, and read right there on the screen. So that's what I do when I'm like, mm, I've been on Facebook and Instagram for quite a while and TikTok. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through a book and read instead. So it feels almost the same. You go to your app store and you're going to search for Sora. S-O-R-A. Go up to the search bar. And it looks like this little um, astronaut right there. The kids will know about it. So if you have students here at Reed, they should already know about it with their own account. Uh, you get it, install it. It might take a minute while I'm showing you that. Um, and while that's downloading, just, um, you know, I wanted to mention that's how I kind of have these little habits that I end up reading a lot when I'm just scrolling through it on my phone. Um, it's actually pretty fun. And then you can find some good recommendations or just like read a super quick one, read something like a graphic novel for fun. It'll just take you a couple hours or maybe one hour or so. There's so many good things. You open it. You can also, you know, go back to your home screen and open it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and find how to log in. You're just going to use your regular login. It's like first name, underscore last name when we get to that part. I think you have to find your school first. Uh, find my school, yep. I already have it downloaded on my phone, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Usually read doesn't come up right here. Yeah, I didn't think so. So you just go to my school isn't listed on the bottom. You can um, actually type in like read and Leander. That's how I usually find it when I was searching on the kids' iPads, if I needed to do that. Oh, no matches, just kidding. Let's search for a read. Sorry, I lied. Okay, so search for a read. Come on, there we go. Leander Independent School District right over here. Did I click it? Yes. Okay, now make sure you guys, as teachers, you choose the bottom one, teachers and staff. The other one, if like you have a student, they would pick the middle one, pre-K through five, um, so they don't get access to like high school, high school books and adult books. Um, let's sign in. It should take us to the page where we're gonna type in our, um, you know, typical login. Oh, that's probably gotta be our email. It says email, phone, or Skype. So I'm doing this for the first time on this device. So if I make a mistake, that's just how it's gonna be and we'll get through it. <laughs> but you should be kind of going through these steps with me and then you can have everything all set up. And once it's set up, boom, you go in the Sora app and it's all right there. Sure. Great. Okay, so I logged in with my email and my password. These are the books that I have checked out right now. So, so you can see that I'm currently reading some stuff. If it has headphones, it's an audiobook. What you would do in your Sora app is go to explore down at the bottom with those little binoculars. You can up here change your preferences if you want to find only, you know, audiobooks or if you wanna find only the available books, like some books are on here. How Sora works is it's actually like a real library. Like you can check out a book and that means nobody else can read it at the same time, unless there's a bunch of copies of it. But the district and actually my some of my library money goes to certain number of copies of books. 
So these are more expensive than your average book. They're usually like 50, 60 bucks um, because they're, you know, indestructible. They're just on the internet. Um, so there's also, you can pick Spanish, English, um, various languages. Uh, you can just look at, you know, the juvenile books or the young adult books, whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to look at available books and show you super quick how to check one out. Oh, except I can't because I already have, I think, yeah, three is the maximum. So what you would do though, like say I want this book, um, you click borrow right there. And then it is on your shelf. Like I have my other books and then I can just open the book and read it right here on the screen. And you just kind of click it to swipe uh, and read your book. Um, you can do this on any device. You could do it on your computer. If you just go to soraapp.com, you could do it on your phone. That's what I do. Like I said earlier, you know, instead of, you know, when I need a break from social media or whatever. And if you come and show me that you have your Sora app and you've tried it or you watched this video, come and get a treat in the library this week. Thanks, y'all. See you later. Happy holidays, everyone.